How's it going folks, it's Rob here. I get asked a fair bit if I could do more clips just showing you how um, we use the produce we grow in the patch. So I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I thought I'd post this one on a very quick and basic chicken soup that we make up quite often here. Now the ingredients we use does vary a lot. It basically depends on what we have growing in the patch at the moment. So tonight we're using some bits and pieces that were fresh and also some other things I've pulled from the freezer like the frozen turmeric and water chestnut. So anyway, I'll stop nattering on and I'll set the camera up and give you a bit of a gander. So tonight soup's being made up of a few things from around the patch. Um, we've got some carrots, pretty much we'll come to the end of um, this batch of carrots from a wicking barrel near the back stairs. Really should just sow some more out. Uh, lonely Jimmy Nardello um, capsicum or pepper I found down the back. A couple of beans, the first small harvest from the plants out the front. And the last, I think, of the honey pod snap peas from a root pouch out the front. Over here, I've just separated some greens from uh, some Chinese red shallots, believe it or not. Uh, they're just growing so closely together and densely in the aquaponics that they're growing more like a green onion. So we've got, um, what's there, five or six of those guys. They'll be chopped up. Some water chestnuts. These guys were processed a while back, uh, frozen on trays and popped into the freezer. So they're just thawing out slowly. Some turmeric pulp or paste that I made up, um, again, frozen in the freezer. We just pull out little blocks as we need them. I nipped on down the back and took out a small piece of galangal. And this is some ginger that we harvested a while back. Here is one of the little garlic bulbs I pulled out of the aquaponics system the other day. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much well started to shoot already. So yeah, we decided to harvest our garlic early this season. A couple of um, stalks of lemongrass, we'll probably only just use these little end bits down here, we'll chop them off and pop them in the soup. And over here we've got some uh, perpetual spinach, and this stuff will just be sliced up finely and added in. The only other ingredients we're going to use are a couple of chicken breast fillets, and also a litre of commercial chicken stock. We've got no chicken stock in the freezer at the moment, it's jam-packed full of other bits and pieces. And to that we'll be adding another litre of oil. So we'll end up with basically oh, around about half a gallon of liquid or two litres of liquid all up. So there you go. I suppose I better start chopping. Made a bit of a head start here, folks. I've already peeled the garlic. Next thing to do is to um, basically take the skin off this ginger. I'm actually probably only going to use about that much, I think. Um, this little bit can go in with some other stuff for another night. Don't need to um, peel it as such, you can pretty much will just get away with scraping it off. That way you leave a lot of the um, spice behind. So, there we go, some ginger. Let's get rid of my scraps as I go. Next is the galangal. This stuff is um, fresh tonight, I went out and dug it. This you can pretty much will get away with doing the same thing, giving it a bit of a scrape. Although it will need a wash. Um, those black bits are just bits of dead skin. They're not really... Um, bits of dirt or anything like that. So there's the galangal done. I won't be using all of this, I'll just be using the, um, the softer, uh, the newer shoots to the side, I think. Oh, that'll do, and I'll put this bit aside with the other bit of ginger, and we'll go into another night's meal. So now all I need to do is just basically um, chop this up finely. This galangal is very, very fibrous, so very tough. So what I like to do with this one is get a better knife, here we go, something a little bit larger. And I'm just cutting across the fibres. It's probably best if you get the ginger, the galangal and the garlic and run it through a food processor to make up a bit of a paste to add to the soup. Ours doesn't work that well with small amounts, so I'm chopping it up finely and then I'm going to give it a bash in the mortar with the pestle just to make up a bit of a rough paste that, yeah, will go a lot better than small chunks in the soup. Now next, the lemongrass. Um, the lemongrass, I'm not going to be cutting up, other than just trimming the ends off. I do need to give it a bit of a wash back in a tick. All I'm doing with this is um, basically, actually, I can use this, just bruising it a bit. Just to help release some of the flavour. I'm just chopping it into three largest, largish sections because we will be pulling this out. Um, it's a little bit too chewy. Uh, when we make up our curry paste, we actually put this through the food processor and it comes out so fine, it doesn't really cause an issue. That can go in there, and we'll move over to the stove. So just here at the stove, we're popping in the gingers, turmeric and lemongrass, with the garlic of course. And then into that go the 
two chicken breasts and the tenderloins which I wasn't really counting on. So the soup will be brought to the boil now and then reduced down to a light simmer for about, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes. And while that's all going on, I'll be getting the greens and the other veggies ready for the bowls. I almost forgot the onions. These guys have got to go in too, or shallots I should say. So these onions will now go into the soup with the frozen water chestnuts and we'll get onto the greens. So now we're onto the veggie sides of things. So what I like to do is chop them up and pop them in the bowl. So when the hot soup goes over the top, it just wilts them a bit and yeah, it just cooks them very gently. So what I like to do is just portion out the greens, pop them into everyone's bowl and then take it from there. So with these long greens, just chop them in half, in half again, roll them up and then just slice them fairly thinly. Sort of makes like a short green noodle, so to speak. And that goes into the bowl. And then on top of that, We'll um, just cut up these, I've lost a pea, oh no, this one only got one. And then on top of that, I just like to um, slice up the other veggies, fairly small again, and they just go in on top. And it's as easy as that really. So I'll go through and continue processing these guys. So now the greens are all prepped and popped into their bowls, I'll set about julianning all the carrots. With these carrots too, I do like to peel them because in these little cracks and crevices we get bits of sand, so it's a little bit uncomfortable on the teeth, so just like to give them a bit of a light peel. Then we'll hook into it with this gizmo. There's all the carrot done. There we go, I might just put them in order actually, otherwise I'll get confused later. Now the onion green and the Jimmy Nardello, I'm pretty much all just going to um, slice them up thinly and they can go over the top of the soup as a bit of a garnish. Now one thing I did forget to add is about a tablespoon of soy sauce. So there we go. We'll just give that a bit of a stir around. And right at the end I'll also be adding in some um, sesame oil. Because that's another one we like. I mean loads of variations on this if you wanted. You could also add in things like uh, fish sauce or um, you know some sort of a curry paste or something like that if you want to give it a bit of a kick. Just give it a bit of a taste test now, see if it needs anything else. Mmm. Not at all. So this soup has got about another 5-10 minutes and then we'll pull the chicken out and start to assemble the rest of it. So there's a bit of a look at the chicken. Absolutely gorgeous yellow colour. I just like to cut it down the middle and then just slice it fairly thinly. And that can just go straight into the bowls. Any of these large chunks, they're easy enough to um, Break apart with your spoon, it's that tender. Absolutely awesome smell coming from this stuff. So now, we'll just stir this all up a little bit and pour it in. So one thing I will be trying to do is just pulling out any of these bits of lemongrass. Just don't want them in the pot at all. So we'll get some one and a half things of bottom scrapings. So now just to finish it off, I'm just going to add on some green onion and just some capsicum or sweet pepper. So it just looks absolutely awesome and all these veggies down the bottom, I'll just move it around a bit for you, have started to wilt a little bit. So not cooked 100% through, but nice and wilty. And these little um, Chinese water chestnuts, they've got a nice bit of a bite to them still, crunch wise. Not as crunchy as being fresh, but still, you know, a little bit of a bite to it. So, there you go. So, taste test time. I've got Maya to do it because I'm just slightly biased. So, say, g'day. Hi. Hi. So, what do you think? It's nice. I like She's it. already eaten half of it. <laughs> so, what flavours can you taste? The turmeric is a lot with the pepper. A lot of turmeric, a lot of pepper. Anything and else? The galango lemongrass? Yep. Is that lemongrass? There might be, yeah, that's, yeah, you may not want to chew that, so. Thank you very much, Maya, for your opinion. 
Goodbye. Goodbye. So there's a bit of a taste test from Maya. Um, it is a very tasty soup, and like I said before, no two soups we've made are pretty much all the same. It just depends on what we have in the patch at the time as to what goes in there. I mean, you can add other things in there. You can add a bit of curry paste if you want, um, some ketchup, manis instead, bit of fish sauce. There's a whole host of different additives you can put in there if you want to change the flavor up a bit and keep it fresh and new every time you make it. And if you do like um, urban farming, backyard farming clips and aquaponics and that sort of thing, you can hit that little subscribe button up there and you'll be sent an email by YouTube every time we upload a clip and you can come along and say good day and check it out. So I can hear the spoons going off in the lounge room behind me so I should probably wrap it up and go eat mine while it's hot. So I do hope you enjoyed the clip and found it useful and maybe picked up an idea or two for your own chook soup. I'll catch you next clip folks. Cheers!